A local student says she captured a road rage moment on her cell phone and now questions the lack of response. Tonight we'll show you that video and how a recent Supreme Court ruling could impact the way threats are evaluated in person and online. We want to warn you, the video is disturbing. Here's investigative reporter Angie Racono. We've all been there driving and either someone cuts you off or maybe you accidentally cut another person off. This case took place in Overland Park and it led to a police report, but no county charges. It's 940 in the morning and Maya Colmas is driving to class at Johnson County Community College. This man is trying to scare me. He's trying to run me off the road. Another driver is clearly angry. Throw your window down. Maya recorded what happened next. You cut me off, you dirty little No, I didn't. You I didn't cut you off. You filming this? I'm going to follow you wherever you go. And what are you going to do about it? I'm going to kick the out of you. I'm going to hold my foot down on your throat until you grasp for air. Oh, okay. Dan Rainey then challenges Maya to meet in a parking lot at Johnson County Community College. She agrees, but she drives the other way. I just was full of adrenaline. I was so scared. I just remember it seemed like it was just only going to escalate from there. She calls Overland Park Police and heads to campus. They take Maya's statement, and the campus police report reveals they quickly connect with the angry driver. That's because Dan Rainey is an employee at the community college, lead groundskeeper. Rainey claims Maya cut him off and brake checked him. He says they both said things to each other. Rainey is informed he has the right to make a traffic complaint too. But police note Rainey did not like this comment from Officer Northcutt and said he knew his rights and did not need Officer Northcutt telling him what his rights were. The report details how another officer intervenes, explaining they are just letting him know how to proceed. Rainey responds he was not listening to Officer Northcott anymore, and that Officer Northcott could leave. I couldn't even speak. If you're wondering what happened next, well, that's why Maya has gone public, sitting down with a reporter and posting about it on Facebook. Rainey never faced any county charges and was still listed as the lead groundskeeper at Johnson County Community College when KCTV5 first began looking into this issue. What do you think about that? It's appalling. Again, I just don't understand what about that video is not. Um, it's just abundantly clear. He told me, I'm going to hold my foot down on your throat until you gasp for air. And I'm going to follow you wherever you go. We showed the video to former Jackson County prosecutor Phil Lavota. He is specifically saying he's going to follow her. He's going to step on her neck until she gasps for air and maybe kick the crap out of her or something. It looks like it, he really means to harm her. Lavota points out prosecutors have discretion when it comes to filing charges. I'm going to follow you. And video is just one piece of evidence in a case, but it's powerful. An update on a case involving a Colorado singer and stalking. The Supreme Court recently ruled on threats, a 7-2 decision, raising the bar for prosecutors when it comes to threats, highlighting a difference between bluster and truth threats. The case dealt with online communications. It's unclear how prosecutors will interpret the ruling when it comes to charges for in-person communication. This jerk is screaming things at her. You can't get that from an online thing. So the, the Supreme Court case will make prosecutors look at it differently. But I think when you have video evidence like this, you can hear the, the, the emotion in the guy's voice. It's a lot different. Approaching. The Johnson County prosecutor declined to comment on the case and lack of charges. We reached out to Johnson County Community College. They never offered a response concerning their own campus police investigation and behavior of the lead groundskeeper. And the fact that it's not being taken seriously and taken to heart um, is just beyond upsetting. KCTV5 Investigates recently learned the officer who investigated this case took another route. He brought the case to the municipal prosecutor. Rainey now faces a city charge of disorderly conduct. We did connect with the driver in the video. Dan Rainey did not want to do an on-camera interview, but emailed us when he realized he was being recorded. He thought he'd give them the reaction they wanted. He also didn't realize at first that the driver was a girl. He also wrote that he was recently let go from work. Angie Racono, KCTV5 News.